Portugal. Today, the plan is to take the old tram from downtown Porto to the Foz de Duaro. I don't know, but it's the all the way to the ocean, so I can see the Atlantic from the other side. So that's very exciting. It's been, it's a beautiful sunny day today. It's been raining for the last couple of days. I've still been outside, but I haven't been filming. And yeah, it's the beginning of uh, my second week here. It feels like it's almost over already, but there's still, I'm leaving Wednesday and it's Friday. I don't know, there's still a few days. But I'm excited to see the ocean. Looking forward to just walking along the water and having a little picnic for myself. I've picked up some smoked ham and some black olives from the market and I want to find some cheese and maybe wine as well and maybe get that out maybe there'll be vendors along the, the ocean I'm assuming they'll have food there as well um, yeah it's gonna be a beautiful day then I'm gonna come home and continue working I'm actually waiting on an email from work to move forward with the video I have right now Otherwise, I have to get a new video, but I really want to do this video because it's a movie and I really enjoy captioning movies uh, because it can be a little bit more exciting and a little bit easier as well because there's not constant talking, whereas with the lecture, there is constant talking. So, anywho, let's get this day started. Welcome to my video and I hope you enjoy. Let's go. update you. I hope you can hear me. I'm talking loud. I'm so sorry. There's all the waves and everything and the wind, but I I think I could just keep walking along the coast forever and it would continue to be beautiful. But I am getting hungry even though I had uh, 
some prosciutto and some olives as a snack, but I am very hungry. And so I'm going to go to the famous restaurant, Restaurant Conga. They're famous for the pork sandwiches. I will put the name below because I'm sorry I forgot. But I had a taste of one from another place and while we were tasting those on my food tour, the guy was like, yeah, the ones at Congo were way better. So I really want to try them. And I'm gonna go there right now. It should take 20, 30 minutes on the bus. Um, but right now I am on the Atlantic Ocean from the Portuguese side, which is really cool. Um, I waved to America. <laughs> it's the closest I'll be. Uh, for a while so I gave a little wave as you saw in the clips and I'm going to continue on let's try out the restaurant let's get back into a uh, main old town of Porto We're climbing the hill to get home. It's a short walk, but it's all uphill. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, we need to talk, all right? First of all, I think I got sunburn. My, uh, I'm a little red from like walking up the hill, but beyond that, my nose is like for sure sunburn which is great because it means it's warm enough to get sunburn so that's exciting but it means I need to buy sunscreen ASAP which is okay because I need a lot of things from the grocery or from the general category of the mall anyways so number two that Bifana was heaven honestly um, I tried one on the food tour. This one, 100 times better. It was juicy. I mean, so juicy and, like, greasy that my hands were um, completely greased up. And, oh my god, it was so good, you guys. And uh, after the beer I had there with my Bifana, I was like, hmm, I really kind of feel like drinking more. So I walked, trying to find my bus station to kind of uh, come home, maybe go to the grocery store and get a bottle of wine, but I was like, I like ended up lost, thought I knew where I was going again, but I didn't, and I had to walk a lot, and I ended up in the um, side of the river called Gaia, which is where my Airbnb is, and I know that there's a market there, which I went to this morning, I've been to a couple times, and I went there, decided to, to do the happy hour special of two port wines. Well, it's not two full glasses, it's two tastes. Um, thank God, because I couldn't have had more. You saw what I drank. So I drank that, I had the sangria earlier, and I had the beer. And I think I just didn't eat enough, which scares me because <laughs> times I've gotten sick, the problem has been that I've eaten, not eaten enough before I drank. 
but I mean I ate those two sandwiches with the beer and then I ended up getting fries as you saw with the wine so I mean I did eat it's not like I ate nothing so hopefully I won't get sick <sighs> I did not intend to be out until 7 15 it is 7 15 right now I don't know what happened I mean I was enjoying the day walking along the coast and then suddenly we're here and it's 7 um, I intended to work today but you know the email I told you I was waiting on from work I didn't get it still so it, it's annoying I mean I can just throw back the movie and caption something else that's fine, but I really was looking forward to captioning something fun. Um, sometimes it gets, what I do, transcription, can get very repetitive and boring after when you do it for 30 to 40 hours a week. It gets really, really boring. Um, as far as job go, jobs go, it's a great job and I love it, but it still gets very boring just doing the same thing over and over again and I really wanted to do the movie so it sucks but I gotta get over it anyways I intended to actually work today like stay out until like two three maybe and come home and work but now I'm like clearly tipsy because I'm talking really really quickly and I don't know what to do. I was thinking about having a, an espresso to because that definitely helps you like sober up and it also will wake me up because right now like I could just probably pass out and go to sleep and maybe wake up sick but uh, I'm concerned about the espresso making my stomach hurt more so kind of gonna catch 22 not exactly sure what to do that ride um yeah but I shouldn't just sit here and contemplate it with you because that's boring but I'm, I'm leaning towards the coffee I usually lean towards the coffee let's go make a coffee right yeah let's make a coffee thanks for helping me make my decision guys <laughs> oh lord <laughs> so I did not end the vlog last night therefore I'm just going to continue it all weekend and I slept for a very long time it is now 11.15 this is what I look like when I wake up <laughs> um, I'm thinking from course the alcohol which again wasn't that much but I think because I had sunburn and I was walking all day and I didn't drink enough water um, it kind of affected me more and I woke up in the middle of the night and was feeling ill my stomach it's a normal thing um, and I kind of was up for maybe one or two hours like watching YouTube and Game of Thrones because I couldn't sleep. It's also like a common thing in my family. Every All the women in my family wake up in the middle of the night and watch TV. Like, it's just the way it is, I think. Um, it's genetic, I'm telling you. But, anywho, I need to get up now because I need to work. And that's the story. So, let's go. <laughs> A long time it's taken me, but I figured out now to some degree. This life, it happens fast, I'll enjoy the time in this hourglass. Yes, I will, will, will. Sunday, not 
got the, the chocolate on it. So the famous dessert, but with chocolate on it. It's a day old, so it won't be as good as the warm one I had, but let's give it a go. needs the chocolate, I'm gonna be honest. I think the one that I had that was fresh, which you haven't seen on camera, during the food tour was the best one because it was still warm and you sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on it. Amazing. So, uh, it's still great, but it's a no-go. That one was better. I've just been Skyping with my grandparents and it was great. Uh, it was two hours long. Um, now I am making some tea as you saw and I'm trying to figure out whether I'm going to work more or relax. Um, we did a lot of talk about my uh, YouTube channel and everything like that and so now I'm kind of like motivated. But what I really should be doing is captioning. But I also kind of want to relax. I'm getting a little nervous because my host here has a cold. It seems quite bad. He didn't have a voice the other day. And he was coughing quite a bit. And my throat is starting to get a little bit um, tender. And it could be related to my stomach and acid reflux because that does come up and bother your throat sometimes. Um, but, of course I'm nervous. Um, anytime people are sick around me, I get like, super paranoid. So, I mean, there's really nothing I can do about it <laughs> other than make sure I'm resting and eating well. So, I might go back to a vegan buffet tomorrow because... Um, I went there the other day, it was around uh, 13 euros, I, the buffet part was I believe 9 euros and I got a drink for 350 or something that was like a detox juice and it was so good, like clearly squeezed right there, it had a lot of greens in it and I think like lemon and apple. Um, I felt so great after that, that I kind of want to go there again to like keep my immune system up. So I'm thinking I might go there tomorrow as well as drink a lot of tea, but I've already been drinking a lot of tea every day. So that's my little update. Okay, I'm gonna end the video for tonight. I'm just coloring as you can see and 
watching Game of Thrones. And I'll see you in the morning. Night. Hey guys, i um, pretty sure I just went from a clip of food to another clip of food, but it was like all sugary and I'm so tired for some reason. I think because my body's like fighting off the germs from uh, my host here who's sick, I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, um, plus uh, PMS, not that anyone needs to know, and um, yeah, those two things. Those two things combined are making me feel very tired. Oh, and my stomach issues. So like my body is trying to do a lot of things. And therefore, I feel very tired. So luckily, like today's a relaxation day. The only thing I'm doing is working on the vlog. But that made me really hungry and I realized that I hadn't had protein for two weeks. Or for two days, sorry, two days. So, hence why I'm eating again. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna Skype with my mom later and also just watch YouTube, Game of Thrones. So, yay, relaxing day. While I have room to myself, I need to take advantage. So, look at these birds absolutely going mad. <laughs> Okay, I've just Skyped with my parents, and I'm trying to decide what to eat, <laughs> whether to eat something here or to go to the market and get something, but for now I'm going to edit because I can't figure out what to do. super excited because I just finished um, editing part three of the Rome series and I'm about to put it up which is very exciting I am just doing my final look through the whole thing because it's a pretty short video so I'm just gonna rewatch the whole thing make sure there's no mistakes um, but I just kind of went through it so it should be fine but just making sure and then I'm going to upload it and yay I always feel so accomplished when I get a vlog up, so very exciting. Um, then I can relax for the day, finally. Um, no, I've been relaxing all day, but I'm going to um, continue my Game of Thrones rewatch. I'm on episode 9 of season 1, so, and I only have like a month to finish the rest of it, but if I do a few episodes on Sundays and then couple other episodes during the week, it should be fine. So, woohoo! Okay guys, I'm just gonna end out the video here. I'm just gonna be coloring and watching YouTube and Game of Thrones. I'm going to bed here in a couple of hours. That being said, 
thank you so much for watching this weekend in my life. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.